I had such a good night. I've been sleeping in such a cozy bed. And I love this apartment so much. It is so, so cute, you guys. Uh, and the best part about it is that it's right next to the beach. Miami Beach is right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. So this is the view from my window. Mm. Yep, Miami at daytime. And okay, I'm in an Airbnb. And the thing is, when you're in an Airbnb, you have to cook in your Airbnb. But unfortunately, in this Airbnb, they don't have, what do I call it? Like a gas or somewhere where I can cook. I need to switch on the lights, right? They don't have a gas in the Airbnb. This is the kitchen section of it where they just have a microwave, a coffee maker, and a fridge. So that means I have to buy my own food. So I have to go and buy breakfast. I was trying to order something on DoorDash, but unfortunately I need an American line and I don't have an American line. And also the, where I had chosen, they said it's I'm, I'm far from there. So it's like my only option is to go and grab you know something to eat but today guys i have decided to fly to guess where i have decided to fly to the caribbean guess which country look at this before, before just drop a comment before i keep talking um let me see how well you guys know me i'm, I'm flying from miami to a caribbean country i'm so excited because i've always wanted to go to the caribbean but I've just never gone there okay so guess which country i'm going to right now don't watch don't watch ahead so yeah i have to i have to it's around 9 a.m uh, my flight leaves at 2 so i have i should be at the airport by 2 1 12 by 12 meaning i should leave here by 11 latest so that means i got about two hours to get ready and uh go actually one of the reasons why i came to miami is because miami is the closest state in in the continent of america to the caribbeans you know the other states are really really far but this is the closest so from here to the caribbean it's about three hours 45 minutes by air um yeah i'm not gonna say which country yet i'm gonna surprise you guys as you continue watching you have to watch to the end to know which country i'm going to okay yeah so let me take a shower let me get ready uh i'll see you guys um when i'm done so guys so this is me i'm so ready to go um i need to get down Hope, hopefully i'm gonna get someone at the reception who is gonna help me get an uber because i don't have i i, I wasn't able to get an american line so i can't order for my uber that's the only way i know how i can get to the airport so cross your fingers for me i hope everything goes okay um this is my look my outfit of the day is this black top <laughs> guys i won't lie this lift is so old it's a little scary you know i feel like what happens if i get stuck but it, it looks like it's still under construction seriously it's so scary oh my god but I can't use the stairs with all this blood, so I have no option. Like, see, is this blue? Oh, they want this beautiful reception. Have I mentioned that I love the fact that... Good morning. I love the fact that they have an ATM inside here. So convenient. This is looking lovely. And there's no one at the front desk. Hello? Excuse me. Uh, do you there's somebody? Hello, how are you? Hello. Please, I need help. I'm going to the airport, uh, but I don't have an American SIM card, so I need uh, someone to order an Uber for me. Is it possible? Um, how I have my I have my card. Okay. Yeah, uh, the, I'm staying in an Airbnb, so I asked the lady, and she told me to ask someone at the front desk. Leave me a
lucky me. The man at the reception was so kind. So I gave him my card. He withdrew cash. Then he ordered an Uber for me. So we are on the way to the airport. Miami is so beautiful, so developed, and very clean. It's also known as the Magic City. The name comes from its rapid growth, which was noticed by winter visitors who remarked the city grew very much from one year to the next, just like magic. <laughs> I hope you are enjoying the view as much as I am. Finally got into the airport. I'm flying with Caribbean Airlines. Hey, Dad. Ah, how are you? I can see it, it's 8 p.m. in Kenya. Oh, wow. It's only... Wow, it is um, 12. Five minutes past 12 uh, p.m. Yeah. Yes, midday. First time flying with Caribbean Airlines and I loved how quick their checking process was. Maybe it's because I was here a little early. Guys, so I told you guys I hadn't eaten, so I have to get myself something. Um, what to take, what to take. I see they have Caesar salad. I love Caesar salad. Yeah, I'm gonna get this. What else? And a drink. What drink though? I was hoping they would have um, Prime by Logan Paul. That's something I was really looking forward to trying when I come to the US. Prime, but I can't see it here. So, ooh, I think I'll take minutes made. So I'm gonna have this. I'm hoping that this guy didn't finish my money because, guys, when you're coming to America, make sure you have extra cash because this guy is like you find extra charges where you least expect so i don't know if you get what i'm trying to say where you least expect they charge you like right now i was checking in my luggage and um, they say they had to pay extra cash and i'm like anyway let me pay for this so guys as i was trying to tell you i finally got in something to eat uh caesar salad this is my favorite kind of salad and once i saw it i knew that i was gonna take it so this is it so this is a salad and uh, uh this minute made juice uh was a total of um 16 dollars which is actually quite affordable this is very very affordable um one thing i have noticed guys when you're coming to america let me tell you something just have money just have money um because anything can happen at any time when i landed i was told the price of getting from the airport to my apartment will be about 20 dollars 20 
then I get charged double the price and I'm like now I know the guy scammed me because today when I was coming to the airport uh, I was charged with two dollars yet the guy charged me almost sixty dollars it was a fifty five dollars and I'm like okay so then I get to the airport I'm checking in I'm flying with Caribbean Airlines first time flying with Caribbean Airlines and then they tell me that I need to pay for my luggage I'm like what do you mean I need to pay for the luggage usually usually what I know is when you're traveling you pay for the luggage when you are when you've exceeded the amount uh, when you've exceeded the weight that you're not supposed to exceed but here you just pay for the luggage and I'm like why because they haven't exceeded you haven't given me any amount to it so it's, it's a little bit confusing but anyway I had to pay $30 so that is some cash that I hadn't planned for and I had to pay for it but yeah and you know now you know when you're coming to the states just have extra cash just in case of anything plus also in africa we have a habit of not tipping here in the states you have to tip every time so otherwise they consider you rude so also have cash um to always tip but i think tipping is actually a good habit i've actually also started tipping when i go back to africa i never used to tip guys but it's just a way to appreciate people you know so why not so tip so being in the states like this is really making me miss my best friend marianne um i just miss her a lot like they landed at the airport and they saw their people who had come for their loved ones and they were carrying the you know what you carry when you're going to pick your loved one and it reminded me of marianne picking me up at the airport but obviously she's not in this state she's in arizona there's like so many things remind me of her you know driving around i'm like oh she used to drive me i just miss her a lot so Marianne, if you're watching, I miss you so much and I love you. Yeah. So time to eat my Caesar salad. Guys, so this smells so fresh. I've got my cheese, my chicken. This is um fresh gourmet, seasoned. And then my vegetables here. Do they make this every day? How do they manage to keep it fresh like this? Because I know when it comes to such food, like you can't store it in the fridge for so long. So I am so impressed. Just gonna mix everything up together and um, eat up. This is so cool. Do you guys know where we can get this in Ghana or in Kenya? Please drop a comment. The difference between a good salad and an ordinary one will just be the mayonnaise or this this thing that I've poured. Mm. It's so good and so fresh. How do they do this? Because it's not made here. It was stored in the fridge. I wonder if they bring it every morning. It's so good. Finally, I'm in the plane. We are late. We were supposed to check in, start checking in by one. Ten minutes past one and fly by um to ten. It's to ten now and we just came we just started boarding. I'm gonna be flying for for about three hours to the port of Spain in um Trinidad and Tobago. Then from Trinidad and Tobago I'm gonna take another flight to guess where <laughs> Okay, fine. Finally, to Barbados. So yeah, I'm going to Barbados via Trinidad and Tobago. Maya has told me Trinidad and Tobago is so beautiful. I wish I was able to go there, but unfortunately, I don't even think I'm getting out of the of the plane. Let me know who owns the Caribbean Airlines. Is it owned by Barbados, by Trinidad, Jamaica, or is it all the countries combined together? Please drop a comment. Hey guys, so this is three hours, 45 minutes later, we just landed in Trinidad. Guys, yeah, so I came out and everyone was gone, but then thank God the lady was so <laughs> she's dancing, she's dancing. The lady who was talking to us earlier came back down. She's so funny. And then guess what? They speak with a Jamaican accent. What do you guys call it? The Jamaican accent. It's so sweet. Okay, let's go, let's go. Security check. 
Guys, it's like 10 p.m. I'm so sleepy. Ah, now we are boarding the plane to Barbados. I met other people and now we can feel the plane. We are so many. And we are going in a small jet. This is it. So it's been about an hour since I arrived in Barbados. It's uh, almost midnight. A few minutes to midnight. And I have been sitting here stranded because I did not book a ticket uh, out of Barbados and they won't let me go in without my ticket out so they wanted to see my ticket uh, back to uh, leaving Barbados and I showed them the ticket that I had which was from the US to Ghana and they were like no I need a ticket leaving Barbados and I'm like oh god I did not book that so I am stranded at the airport. It's crazy. So <laughs> I had to call Maya. And uh, yeah, he was sleeping. He's sleeping. And uh, at first he wasn't responding. Mm. But anyway, finally he woke up and uh, he's booked the ticket for me. Yeah, it, it's. Um, I'm, I'm actually grateful that he actually woke up because it's midnight. We would have been fast asleep and not have even woken up until morning. So he's sending me the ticket. And then hopefully I'll be able to show them and leave the airport. Um, yeah. Because now even Maya wanted to come for me, but he can't get a car to come to the airport. So I'm going to have to leave by myself. I don't know how but i'm a big girl so i'm gonna manage i'm gonna figure it out so that's what's up so this is the airport this is the immigration right here and i can't go past there until i show them my ticket they are so strict they also needed to see an itinerary of what i'd be doing in barbados you know obviously a place to stay that's where that's that's uh about that every migration asks for that but the itinerary and the ticket leaving i'm like okay wow i'll see you guys soon hopefully the next time i see you guys i'll be out of the airport i told you to wait for me right babes yeah this is crazy, so let's wait and see what's going to happen now. Um, she, she's not back yet? She's not back yet. She says she's going to check the email. Like she'll what, see time you huh? what time did you land? Uh, what time was it? Was it 11? Or... I, I, I didn't look. I think, I think around 10.30 sending to I think two hours now Sorry. guys look at the airport it's super empty everyone has left I'm the only one here and I'm so should tired. it be like this like is this normal babe how far is it from there like 10 to 15 minutes. Okay. I just wanted to leave before I hung up. Okay. Guys, right, so finally they let me go. And uh, when they knew who we are, okay, babe, so I'm leaving. Okay. Okay, I'll see you I'll soon. Be All right. Okay, bye. So finally, they let us go. When they knew who we are, they became so friendly. I'm so tired. Well, my wife is finally here. Hey, after how long? <laughs> ah, she made it. Jeez. Like she doesn't want me to be in this Caribbean all by myself. Oh. 
Thank you. Pardon, sir. Hey. How many years? Yes. <laughs> miss you so much. Yes, I'm happy. It's good to see you again.